Is it weird that I can't hear anything? Okay, well, that's interesting. Oh, okay, now I can hear it. Hey guys, Blank Papers here, and, uh, I mean, oh, what's up, my dudes and dudettes? I'm Phoenix G. That's, that's, the, that's the one I'm doing. Um, Deltarune's cancelled, because I don't want to bother with it editing it anymore. I mean, I was gonna try to revive it and all, but it was just too much trouble, and I'm done. I'm done with Delta Room anyway, so it doesn't matter. There are so many other Let's Plays that you can go watch. I can never finish an Undertale Let's Play, as I'm just cursed to do that. Sorry, Toby Fox. Anyways, let's go. I'm gonna play a game that is something else. That is something out of this world that was just a thing that exists. Yeah, this is a game I wanted to play on this on, on YouTube for a long time because it's such a weird and obscure game that I'm surprised never got covered by anybody like um, like Markiplier or anything. But you know, I don't know. That's just the way of uh, game jewel games. Sometimes you live, sometimes you die. And honestly, this uh, Steve Harmon guy, Stephen Harmon guy, seems like a pretty cool guy. Apparently, he's still making games, which is awesome. He made a game called Meme Race, which is, that's pretty neat. But, um, I wonder what he made since Queen's the beginning, but, yeah, uh, that's a topic of another time. Uh, let's just get into it. Of course we all have errors. Shoot. I did not mean to freeze it. Fucking hate that sound. Yeah, I, I hate this sound. <laughs> This is, this is pretty peaceful. I, I actually tried to play this beforehand. And it was pretty hard, honestly. I played this game, I tried to play this game when I was making Deltarune, but then my computer crashed. And, um, I couldn't make this, I, mean, I couldn't uh, start this Let's Play anymore because it was already, um, I'm not reading the text. Make known, make known with no room for doubt. So yeah, I tried to play this game, I played this game before, basically. Before even, like, like, um, showing it to you guys now, starting it now. I've started it before, it's just that this project, along with every a lot of other projects, uh, kind of died. Breaking silence, say. Make known with no room for doubts. Shouldn't be this laggy. I put it on simple. Hubbus! Oh. Oh, God damn it! Hubbus! <laughs> oh, oh man, this this. Uh, oh no! Oh yeah, this game's a little glitchy. This game, uh, this game is a six-year-old game from a single creator, so it's not, it's not all beautiful. <laughs> oh, this is, no, no, I can do it. All right, that's great. This is such a very platform, where were you? Yeah, again, this is not a very polished game. This game from not only pretty long ago, was it 20, it's 2019 now, six years ago, so it was 2012, about? About 2012, 2013, just around there. Um, because it's still early in the year, so I'm I'm expecting it was made in 2012, which I'm surprised is that's when um all the big frick that's when all the uh big league gaming YouTubers. Oh my gosh! <gasps> Bushki, <laughs> Bushki, <gasps> no! What was I saying? Oh yeah, that's when uh 2012 was actually a pretty good year for gaming because that's when all the big gamers started to come in and started to game. You know, before 2015 and the FNAF craze, before 2018 and the Fortnite craze, there was actually the general amount of people who actually enjoyed um, other people playing actual games. <laughs> actual games. But uh, no, for real, there was actually a good amount of people who played games other than the biggest game out there. And frick. And I have to say, that was a pretty good year for, um, what's it called? For YouTube, because it was actually, I, that was one of the niches I, that really filled me 
uh, in general, because I, I like that. Oh, okay, there we go. So every single time you go into, like, a, um, what's it called? A little, a little, uh, white square or rectangle, whatever shape you are, you progress and all that. Yeah, I tried to record this last a long time ago, and the first episode, I completely failed at recording it whatsoever. I mean, I'm getting past the first level at all, and I'm pretty sure... I think it crashed on me or something? I don't know. I don't remember. But, whatever. So, doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, that was a pretty good year for gaming, honestly, because there's a lot of good games, especially like indie games from Game Jolt that were, that were being represented, especially from Markiplier, who... who who literally strived on the obscure market that um, Game Jewel had, and um, sad to say that there's some that didn't get represented. Not going to be the third wheel. And I'm honestly surprised, because this guy seems young. He's still in school, by the way. Oh yeah, and the game will randomly have a... Uh... That's actually really cool. I like this. I like this a lot. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. It does look a little bit more amazing when you go for, like, the... Um... Maybe it's just the lighting for me. Um, it does look really good. The graphics can look really good because it has this weird 3D effect on it. It's really awesome. <laughs> I don't know. I, I love this game. This game looks really good. It's not, it's not too difficult. Actually, like, it's kind of irritating at some points because the game physics and the setup of some puzzles. Uh, we'll get to that later, but um, it's not. Yeah, the game physics are weird, but it's not too irritating. It's actually really cool, and I like the artistic. I like the artisticness of this game. Surprising, because I feel like this guy was young when they made he made this game, because he's still in school. So he must be. He must have been like at least. A little older than me, so around probably like my brother or sister, because my brother is now 21 and my sister is uh, 19, I think. 1999. It's, uh, 20. It's 2019. She's gonna be 20 actually. Oops. Um. <laughs> but anyways. Wait. I don't know, like this one. I gotta. What you gotta do is like just jump. Jump. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Oh, I was gonna make it. I was gonna make it. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right. There we go. One by one. One bad day, just one. There's enough to do stuff to you. I guess. Is that what he's trying to say? And Habeshki. A left. A life suddenly stable. The new battle has yet to be won. Reality always shifts. Just recording his phone. Yeah, but I feel like he was at least like 21 at most. I feel like he's at least like, yeah, about the age of my either brother or sister, or at least around there. Because he's he must have been pretty young when making this game. There, there's no doubt about it. He was like young as oh god, this game's broken. I can't even. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh god damn it! I just fell through the game. <laughs> Alright, that's great. Alright. Dang it. But yeah, he must have been, like, really young when making this game. He must have been. Because... Or pretty young, at least. Around 14, 15, 14, 15, where you actually de uh, find a way... I feel like that's when you actually start to develop um, kind of like an artisticness to anything, really. That's when you start to have like better taste and whatever's. That's when you like start to have. I hate this part. This part is actually really teary. But, uh, <laughs> this is not Pet Scott, by the way. This is not a game I created. And I was like, oh, it's haunted. No. Oh, I love those effects. Actually, that's really cool. I like those effects. I love it. I love those effects. This is this is why I hate this part. Oh, okay. It didn't happen this time. All right, that's great. So. But if you sometimes when you run off the platform and you jump a little too early, you teleport back to the platform. It was I think it was like a kind of like a safety net just in case um, people had a hard time. But in turn, it actually just made it really irritating to traverse through the game. 
but yeah. Oh my god, actually, that looks really good. I like those effects. It's looks really nice. Look at that. That's so peaceful. That's so nice. I like it. I like it. Come on. Oh yeah, and the game just randomly has gen 10, so it just has to be silent until the next chapter. Which, I'm the heir. Oh my god, this place was like irritating because I didn't have any lighting whatsoever beforehand. When you go for the higher um, uh, sh graphics, and you can't run those higher graphics though. Large shadows to, f to fill big petitions, ambitions, not mine, yours. Uh, now slowly losing myself. It's Now it's eerie and irritating, but... Dysfunctional Collider. Keep on jumping. Oh no, I messed up. Hello there. Hello there. What was it? Uh, what was I talking about? Yeah, he must have been pretty young. Um, yeah, he must have been pretty young when making this game. This is not something... But, uh, sorry, I'm the personal debacle, a lifeless body alive, slowly finding purpose. That's interesting. This part, I think you just kind of keep just jumping on things. I'm so confused. Hey, me too, buddy. <laughs> sorry, of my life, am I right? <laughs> Game of my life. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> what is the point of... Oof, this is, um... <laughs> That's uh, that's definitely, that's definitely a 15 year old talking. <laughs> nothing lasts forever, of course. Of course, nothing ever lasts forever. It's a thing that happens. This game is glitchy. I don't think I was supposed to fall through like that. I think I just died. <laughs> I like the, like, the kind of ambient noise of people crossing and all that. That's cool. I think they're speaking a different language. Yeah. Oh, no. Hello, world. Hello. <sighs> Nothing lasts forever. Okay. It's so weird, because, like, this game is... You, you'd see... You think you'd get really lost, but... You just kind of, like, jump around, and you finally get to a point where you actually get to the end of said game. Oh, hello. Oh, hello there indeed. Stanley, let's go and, uh... Oh, no. <laughs> oh yeah, so you, you, you finally, like, see each of the shapes and compare them to each other. So the... I think the... The... The blue one is the longest one and is the fastest. The... Red one is the biggest one and the slowest. And then I think the, um, what's it called? The, um, what's his face? The, the barcode. Uh, to dream a binary, to dream in binary, all the vectors and lovely strings piled up in ones and zeros. The green one, sorry. <laughs> the green one, that's what I want to talk about. I just fell to. The green one is the the f not necessarily the fastest, but still pretty fast, and is the smallest one. I guess that's the attribute you should give him, the smallest one. I keep messing it up. I keep messing it up. Oh yeah, it's it's such a weird artistic. It has a weird artistic uniqueness to it that it's just can't really be translated to any other game. It's just weird. I I definitely like it for being unique. I'm not sure if it's his best work, but probably cuz it I mean it's still I think it's still his first work. But I'm not sure. I don't know. It's probably one of his main works though. And I I like it. I like it a lot. It's definitely a unique game within itself. It does have its irritating moments, but 
Yeah, it looks really artistic and really nice. If I just seem to like, I just can't pass this one. Um, I don't know why I was holding on to the mouse. By the way, <laughs> I don't need the mouse. Can we? Can we get a move on? Can we get a? Can we get a move on? No, no, we're gonna keep failing. Zero out of ten. This game is bad. I took it back. Ah, oh, dang it! I jumped too early. <laughs> uh, the one thing I don't like, which definitely is an error within this game. Um, is the fact that it goes silent. It doesn't keep playing the um, ambient noises that it has. It just ends its noise, and that just kind of sucks. Kind of just sucks you out. It doesn't doesn't really play anything. Oh gosh, darn it! Really, I I, th I fell through the freaking part that is like the hardest to fall through. But yeah, one of the things I really don't like about it is that it's, it gets really quiet all of a sudden. And that just kind of sucks. I think that was a programming error. Maybe even like a shortcut that he did so that he doesn't have to keep um, programming um, every single part of it with a certain sound in mind. Oh, my computer's about to crash. Sorry, not crash, but die. That's what I meant to say. It's about to die. I'm dying! I'm dying. I'm dying. We're dying. Anybody have a charger? Uh, <laughs> sorry, I hate those con those uh really do hate those uh commercials. They're, they're irritating. <laughs> I don't like those commercials, man. They're terrible. All right. So the key the key point for this puzzle, this platforming puzzle is to make um uh, no, to make the green one. No. Oh, never mind. Just make any of them. Literally, just make any of them. Okay, so what we gotta do. Dang it. Okay, so if you get if you crush any of these characters, by the way, so you can actually kill them, um, you have to restart. So yeah, you can actually kill these characters. I mean, these um. You can actually kill them, which kind of sucks, but uh, it's kind of, ooh, ooh, I wasn't supposed to do that. Oh, no, I've screwed the game. <laughs> no way, I made the game. I think I just made the game. Oh, my God, I'm about to do the impossible. Wait, will it actually let me go? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> There's a reason why. Oh, I wasn't reading that. I guess this is the end. A concluding statement. It's done. Last input. Yeah. I don't know. It definitely has an arch artistic goal to it. I just don't know what it is, man. I don't know. I just I don't really have anything else to say. Other than, no, I crushed him. So uh, there we go. All right. Okay, so we just gotta jump. All right, there we go. There we go. That's how you not crush him. It has this weird glitch where it's always like, if you go back into the area that you, uh, excuse me, if you go back to the area in which you're um, where you activated. Um, something, it just, like, it does this weird thing, and just, like, oh, I needed him. It kind of just, like, um, restarts the, restarts the activation, and then it accidentally kills your character. I don't know if that was intentional, but they, sh but he sure definitely, like, took that into account by actually making it so that you actually can die in this game, which is... Honestly, really cool. Honest, it's like it's like how the um, the spy in TF two um, what is it? The spy in TF two uh it w was a glitch. I think yeah, it was a glitch because the the last game had this thing where it's like yeah, sometimes you're 
her characters looks like um another person of the uh of this of the different team so they made it into a class and that's cool i don't know why i'm talking about that. is this the level even is this level even possible should you even waste your time what kind of game is this oh my gosh i did i did not notice that so literally it's having its own existential crisis is this level even possible no it's not <laughs> Really, what kind of game has haiku? It's not a haiku, though. Really, what kind of game? No. Really, what kind of game has? Really, what kind of game? Really, what kind of game has? Really, really, what kind of game has? Haiku? No, it's not working. Really, what kind of game has haiku? Is it wait? Were all the levels haikus? I don't know. I've always I was always confused with that once, but a while. Well, this must be confusing for you. I feel like I'm talking to empty space right now. Uh, me too. <laughs> well, in that case, I should can say I can say whatever I want. Monkey scrotums on the rocks. Well, that confirms the rating. <laughs> it's definitely not teed. Uh, if anything, scrotums. <laughs> I hate make. I hate Macintosh computers. They are way overpriced. That is definitely when were Macintoshes a thing. That's definitely putting a date on this game. <laughs> and then I forgot. Give it another go. Remember, one ten. Quit the game. Sure. I, I knew. I knew. I knew that one. So you literally have to restart your game. Or you can go to chapter two. Either one works. Oh, that's so cool. I like that. It's like you have to restart your game in order to actually continue on to chapter 2. And that'll be all for this episode, because I don't want to make this episode too long. Because then it'll be too long. But, um, I'll be sure to continue this next time. I really don't want to fill up my folders even more, so I actually have a lot more files again and fill up my computer to the brim with files and shit because I don't have the, I don't have any SDs or hard drives to really save it all in so how about we save this for next time so yeah in chapter 2 there are four more chapters after this and I, I really like this game so I'm gonna keep playing through it and uh yeah with that being said guys I'm Speed G, not Blake Papers for now. Um, and I'll see you guys another time, another day. That's my that's my other outro. Was was my what was my outro this one? It's just like I'll see you guys later. Adios. I think that was the one. So yeah, adios.